11 signs that the economic tipping point that everyone has been waiting for has now arrived. Michael Snyder reports, how bad do things have to get before people start realizing that we are in the midst of a full-blown economic crisis? The experts on television are endlessly debating about whether or not we are going to have a recession this year, and meanwhile economic activity is imploding all around us. The number of homes being sold in this country each month has already fallen by a third, the number of job cuts in November was 417% higher than it was during the same month a year earlier. And at this point, even Amazon is laying off thousands of workers. The Federal Reserve is declaring war on inflation, but prices continue to spiral out of control. In fact, vegetables are 80% more expensive now than they were 12 months ago. Meanwhile, the financial markets continue to plunge. A third of the value of the Nasdaq has already been wiped out and more than two-thirds of the value of all cryptocurrencies has already gone. After everything that has already transpired, everyone should be able to clarify to clearly understand what's happening. So many people have been waiting for an economic nightmare to come, but the truth is that it is already here. The following are 11 signs that the economic tipping point that everyone has been waiting for has now arrived, counting backwards, well, counting uh, forwards, one, the U.S. manufacturing is declining at the fastest pace that we've seen since the early days of the COVID pandemic. The S&P Global U.S. Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, fell at the fastest rate since May 2020 in December, a continuing sign that the manufacturing sector is on the decline, S&P Global reported Tuesday. The U.S. manufacturing PMI rose posted a 46.2 in December, down from 47.7 in November, and solidly below 50, which signals that the sector is contracting, according to S&P Global. Production levels contracted in back-to-back -back months, with new sales plummeting at the end of December at the fastest pace since 2007, as companies cited weakening demand amid economic uncertainty and inflation weighing on customers. Number two, U.S. services PMI has now fallen for six months in a row. Number three, we just witnessed the largest one day drop in the Baltic Dry Index since 1984. The Baltic Exchange Dry Bulk Sea Freight Index crashed on Tuesday in the worst decline on record, sinking on prospects of a global recession. Baltic Dry Goods Index is a measure of global shipping and economic health. The overall index, which tracks rates are for Cape size, Panamax and Supermax shipping vessels carrying dry bulk commodities plus plunge 17.5% to $1,250, the most significant daily decline since 1984. Number four, thanks to rapidly falling imports, we just witnessed the latest monthly decline in the trade deficit since the last financial crisis. According to the BEA, the November trade deficit narrowed to $61.5 billion from $77.8 billion the prior month, coming in below the medium estimate of $63 billion, just barely missing the tip, the top end of the range of $61.3 billion to $80.5 billion from 42 economists. Remarkably, the 20% one-month decline in the deficit was the single biggest drop in the U.S. trade deficit, on a percentage base going back to the global financial crisis. Number five, in 2022, U.S. auto sales were the lowest we have seen for a full year in more than a decade. Industry-wide, U.S. auto sales totaled 13.7 million vehicles in 2022, the lowest figure since 2011, and an 8% decrease from the prior year, according to the research firm Ward's Intelligence. Sales had topped 17 million vehicles for five straight years before COVID pandemic struck in 2020, unleashing supply chain problems that have bogged down deliveries ever since. Six, the average rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage is more than twice as high as it was this time last year. Mortgage rates inched up again last week after a slight increase this week, uh, the week before interrupted six straight weeks of falling rates. The 30-year fixed-rate mortgage averaged 6.48% in the week ending January 5th, up from 6.42% the week before. According to Freddie Mac a year ago, 
the 30-year fixed rate was only 3.22%. Number seven, according to CNN, sales of apartments in Manhattan were 28.5% lower in the fourth quarter of 2022 than they were in the fourth quarter of 2021. Higher rates and still high housing prices cooled demand at the end of last year, causing sales to tumble. Sales dropped 28.5% in the fourth quarter compared to the fourth quarter of 2021. Number eight, overall existing home sales in the United States have fallen for 10 months in a row and are now down by more than a third since January 2022. Number nine, Bed and Bath and Beyond is warning that the company is literally on the verge of declaring bankruptcy. Bed, Bath and Beyond warned Thursday it's running out of cash and it's considering bankruptcy. The retailer, citing worse than expected sales, issued a going concern warning that in the upcoming months it's likely will not have the cash to cover expenses, such as lease agreements or payments to suppliers. Bed Bath said it's exploring financial options, such as restructuring, seeking additional capital, or selling assets in addition to a potential bankruptcy. Number 10, it's being reported that Amazon has decided to lay off approximately 18,000 employees. Amazon Inc. is laying off more than 18,000 employees, the biggest reduction in its history, and the latest sign that a tech industry slump is deepening. Number 11, overall the tech industry has already laid off more than 150,000 workers over the last year. Many more American workers will lose their job as economic activity slows down even more throughout 2023. So if you currently have a good job that you're, you value, try to cling to it as hard as you can. The times that we are moving into are going to look completely different from the times that we have enjoyed over the past decade. Our leaders were able to keep the party going for a long time by absolutely flooding the system with money, but now they have lost control. We're literally careening towards disaster, but most Americans still don't understand what's taking place. Most Americans just assume that those in authority know exactly what they're doing and that a return to normal is inevitable. I wish that was true because the ride into the economic abyss that we're facing is not going to be fun. This is by Michael Snyder. He says it's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times is now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, my name is Michael. My brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon, Michael Snyder says. In addition to my new book, I have written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Futures of America, The Beginning of the End and Living a Life That Really Matters, Commissions Earned, when you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short and I need to help I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I have published thousands of articles on the economic collapse blog, end of the American dream and the most important news. And the articles that I publish on those sites are published on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder, Economic Collapse Blog. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.